年イギリス F3 選手権にステップアップこの頃すでに F1 界から熱心なオファーを受けているがアイルトンは着実なステップアップを望んだ<音楽>アイルトンにとっては頂点のカテゴリーに行くための通過点でありたとえ優勝できると分かってはいても F3 のステップを外すわけにはいかなかった点から降ってきたようなチャンスに動じないドライバーはおそらくはアイルトンだけだったかもしれないアイルトンの中では F1 に行くことはすでに決定されていることであり F3 はそのためのステップに過ぎなかったウエストサリーレーシングのビッグ・ベネッツはアイルトンのセッティング能力に驚きを隠せなかった二人はタイトルを取るという共通の目的で結ばれそのためにはどんな小さなことも話し合ったという、uh, previous to that I had worked for you know, well not McLaren's as Ron Dennis Project 4 racing and then I was involved with the Formula 3 team there with Stefan Johansson and I enjoyed it it was a good technical challenge and we sold the car to Mike Cox who owns West Surrey Engineering and then they had no one to run this sophisticated car so they approached me and、um, I had an opportunity to stay with Ron to move into the Formula One project or set up our own team so I, I took the challenge to set up our own team and、uh, we've expanded from there keeping an eye on he's very good very talented so as the year progressed、um, we got in touch with each other and、uh, At that stage, there was a non championship race at the end of the season. We we're already running a young Argentinian lad,、um, Kiki Mansilla. So, Ayrton was keen to do the final non championship race, so we arranged a test day, and turned out he was very quick. We were impressed with him, and he was impressed with us, so we did a quick deal,、um, did the non championship race, and、um, pole position, first, fastest lap. I think he won by something like 13 seconds. 